Hi, everybody. Welcome to English Digest. I'm Tom. Hi, I'm Stephanie. It's our News Watch unit for today. Yeah. And today we're talking about something called identity theft by selfie.、Uh, that's the first story we're going to be looking at, and the second story is something about a new organ that has been identified in the human body. Wow, they're pretty exciting、uh, things here. Now, I had not heard about the、uh, identity theft. By selfie, they're they're doing it by looking at a selfie you've taken, and、uh, getting your fingerprints. So that's kind of interesting. And then the new organ in the human body, kind of crazy. And how are you pronouncing this, Tom? Mesenteria. Mes- uh, I did look it up before、yeah. uh, because it's actually something that、uh, the body has already, but nowadays they are identifying it. As an actual organ. Uh, organ. Uh-huh. Uh, let me see what the、uh, pronunciation guy here says. Mesentery. Mesentery. Okay, so that's the new organ in the human body that we're going to be looking at today. So、huh. let's get to it, everybody. Let's find out some more things about how you can have your identity stolen in a selfie. No. And the new organ in the human body. Listen carefully. Identity theft by selfie. Japanese scientists are warning people to stop flashing the peace or victory sign in pictures and selfies. That's because it is now possible for hackers to capture a person's fingerprints from such images and use them to commit identity theft. Japan's National Institute of Informatics (NII) is responsible for the news. The danger was first understood in 2013. When a German hacking group called the Chaos Computer Club successfully hacked the fingerprint scanner on an iPhone 5s, with cameras on smartphones getting better, it is now easier for a hacker to analyze prints and then recreate them. In order to combat this, the NII is working on a type of transparent film that you can put on your fingers to hide your prints. It will also provide hackers with a fake print to confuse them. However, this technology isn't ready for public use yet, and most likely won't be widely adopted. Therefore, the best thing to do is just not make the V sign in pictures. New organ in the human body. Scientists have classified a brand new organ in the human body called the mesentery. That brings the total number of known human organs up to seventy-nine. The mesentery was actually hiding in plain sight all along, and was found in the digestive system. First described by Leonardo da Vinci, the mesentery was long thought to be made up of fragmented structures. However, it was recently discovered that it is in fact one continuous organ. The mesentery's main purpose is connecting our intestines to the wall of our abdomen and keeping our guts from moving around too much. Beyond that, scientists are excited about the new field of study. At present, they are investigating the new organ's function to determine whether or not the mesentery has a role in abdominal diseases. Hopefully, this discovery could lead to a better understanding of such diseases, as well as new treatment methods and better outcomes for patients. Okay, everybody. Let's talk about the first news story for today. It's called identity theft by selfie. Now, if you talk about your identity, that is who you are.、Uh, your identification card is your ID card. You probably carry that with you all the time. Theft is the act of stealing something. Yeah. And of course, a selfie is a picture you take of yourself. So you can actually have your identity stolen through a selfie photograph. It's really interesting how people were looking that closely at selfies and came up with this idea to steal someone's fingerprints. Our fingerprints are very unique. Every person has their own fingerprints, which is amazing since there have been so many human beings.、Mm. But they're looking at these selfies you're taking, and they're trying to see if they can capture your fingerprints. 
from the images that you post. So be careful. So it's now possible for these horrible hackers to capture a person's fingerprints. A hacker is someone who has excellent computer skills, and they can get into code and go through the system and perhaps enter your own computer through the internet. Or maybe they're trying to hack into the government's computers. Hackers are busy all over the world. They indeed are, and I think the Chinese word is haiku,、uh, which is straight from the English there. Yeah. So yes, indeed, these are scientists from Japan. They're warning us to stop flashing that peace sign. It's also referred to as the victory sign because it looks like the letter V, right?、Mm -hmm. But、uh, most of the time, we think of it as the peace sign. And if you use both hands with that、uh, victory. Sign. We call those rabbit ears. If you put them behind someone's head、Ooh. while you're taking a picture, those are rabbit ears. Well, okay.、Yeah. Well, you learn something new every、yeah. day. I thought rabbit ears were antennas for old television sets. That's the real thing. This is slang,、okay. especially for kids. For kids, indeed.、Yeah. But、uh, of course, hackers can now capture a person's fingerprints from such images and then use them to commit identity theft. Wow.、Uh, fingerprint, of course, is the image that is, that is left. Behind after you touch your finger to a piece of paper after you have put some ink on it. If you've ever been arrested for something, the police will take your fingerprints and your photograph and stuff like that.、Yeah. One of the side of your face, one head on.、Oh, you know,、really? you get those、huh. pictures taken. Profile. A profile, profile picture, picture indeed,、yeah. and in this particular case, though, if you flash the peace sign,、uh, hackers can get that picture and figure out what your fingerprints are, and then use those fingerprints to commit identity theft. Here we've got the word "commit," which, as a verb, means that you carry out some kind of action. You could commit a crime, for example. You could commit murder, or you can commit theft, for、mm, example. That's right. Yeah, you can do lots of. It used to be if you committed. Identity theft. You were usually going through someone's trash and picking up, you know, things that had personal information. Here we have our what is it? AID number. What is it? AD number. Yep. In America, they would try to get your social security number and then try to apply for a credit card with your name and information. And try to copy your signature yeah, too. Yeah, yeah.、Like、so、that. now we're、uh, it's getting so bad we have to even be careful about pictures that we take of ourselves. Wow. Or maybe here, maybe if you can、uh, like steal somebody. Is chop, you know, you might be able to get into their bank account or something like that.、Yeah. Uh, we're not,、uh, of course, telling you to do that, but these are some examples of identity theft. theft yeah.、Uh, if you're looking for a way to make a quick buck, and let's go to the National Institute of Informatics,、mm. which is in Japan, NII for short. It is responsible for the news. And folks, I know what national means. I know what institute means, but I'm not quite. Sure, what informatics mean? To tell you the truth, this is the first time I've seen this type of word here. They made it up. Yeah. No, it's actually in the dictionary. You learn something new every day, but、uh, basically, it's the science of processing data for storage and retrieval, or information science for short. Well, as we know, words are made up and then they're put into the dictionary. That's how new words are invented, and it takes a little while for them to be approved. I like to see what the new dictionary words are every year that the dictionary company. Tell us about. Well, they've got this kind of group that is on top of things, guys. It looks like they're very into finding out what's going on with computer science, computer information. The danger was first understood back in 2013. That's when they realized what was going on. When a German hacking group called the Chaos Computer Club, chaos is when there's absolutely、uh, disorder everywhere. People don't know what's going on.、Uh, there's a lot of chaos when we have natural disasters. Sometimes,、mm -hmm. uh, when we don't have emergency services that can get to a place, people are panicked. They can't maybe get onto the internet because the internet's down. Maybe the trees are across the road. There can be a little chaos when things aren't in good order. That's exactly true. So this particular computer club in Germany hacks the fingerprint scanner on an iPhone 5s. When they came out, that was a really cool new feature.、Yeah. You could preserve your phone; nobody else could use your phone because it read your fingerprint. But when I saw that come out, I thought, okay, how long is it going to take somebody <laughs> to hack that? And I believe they were actually pretty quick there. Wow!、Uh, of course, we all know what a scanner is. That's the device that scans your fingerprint. 
when you try to get into your iPhone 5s. Do you know anybody who's got those kinds of phones?、Mm -mm. Yeah, I don't know if that really caught on or not.、Uh, but、uh, nowadays, people tend to use、uh, passwords and things like that, which can be hacked as well. But I guess the best is just to not let anybody else get your phone in the first place. Yeah. Well, let's、uh, move on now to the next paragraph. Here it says, with cameras on phones getting better, it is now easier for a hacker to analyze prints and then recreate them. So yes, the pictures are getting better. I think it's because of higher resolution、mm -hmm. and things like that, so they can actually zoom in to the picture and actually figure out what the fingerprint is, and then they can recreate it and use it in some kind of secure system, like your bank account or something. And in order to combat this or to fight this, the NII is working on a type of transparent film that you can put on your fingers to hide your prints. Yeah, everybody's going to want to put those on before they take a picture. Here, everybody. Put on your gloves here. Put on the film on your fingers before we take the selfie here.、Uh, I don't know if that's going to work, but、uh, in any case, as I said, to combat something means to fight it, and transparent means you can see through it. Okay, you just asked this question. I'm not sure how successful this will be. First of all, who's going to take the time to go out to the store to buy transparent film so they can do the V sign? That sounds just ridiculous to me. Just don't use the V sign, people, or turn your fingers back around, or just stick up your elbows instead of your <laughs> fingers. That might be an interesting、yeah. gesture. Who knows? Or just make a sign for yourself that looks like the P sign. Anyway, I'm not sure that they're going to get a lot of people buying this transparent film that they can put on their fingers to hide their prints. It will also provide, though, something else. Hackers with a Fake print to confuse them. So it sounds like they put fake prints on the transparent film, so that they they grab that instead of your real fingerprints. Interesting. Yeah. However, this technology isn't ready for public use yet. Uh oh. Which means you better still be watching out on your selfies, and most likely won't be widely adopted. If you adopt a policy, you put it into practice.、Um, everybody agrees that they're going to use that particular practice. And、uh, this technology, though, hasn't been adopted. So we'll see what happens. I, for one, think it's a crazy idea to sell this transparent film. You never know, though. <laughs> but again, it sounds to me that the best solution is to simply not flash those P signs、Cheaper. in those pictures. But you never know. Maybe someday they're going to be able to figure out your dental records when you smile in a picture, or they'll be able to read your irises <laughs> in your eyes. I bet.、Yeah. And that's one way to do it. So it seems to me. Me, the best solution is to just hold up a piece of paper in front of your face, <laughs> or just simply don't appear for a selfie.、Uh, who knows? But in here's case, another one: stay off social media. <laughs> yeah, that's like、uh, asking the moon to fall from the sky.、Oh, it's just、stop. not going to happen.、No. People just love those websites. But in any case, we're going to go on now to talk about a new organ in the body. But before we do that, we'll take a break and listen to our Chinese teacher. Hi everyone, my name is Jenny. 今天我们看的是第五单元。好，我们要来看新闻。第一篇的主题呢，跟我们平常照相的习惯有关。如果你也是喜欢毕业这样的胜利姿势的人，可要注意了，因为呢，日本的科学家告诉我们，这样子的动作可能会造成什么后果呢 ？Identity theft. 好，我们看到这个片语，中文我们翻成“身份盗用”，这样的结果当然会有很大的影响，甚至于造成很多财务的损失。不过，我们看一下，我们知道 “identity” 就是代表身份 ，“theft” 这个字呢，大家看一下，它是一个名词哦，它代表。盗取。可是，如果你想想看，小偷这个字 ，thief t h i e f， 那这样子这两个字就可以连接在一起。好了，我们再往下看这篇新闻，提到其实很多骇客他是会利用这种影像，把你的指纹给窃取了。那我们就要来看这个日本的科学家他们发现了什么。好，这里有一个机构叫 N。I I， 这个是日本的国立情报学研究所。那我们知道，他们这个发布的内容是在二零一三年，而主要相关的是一个德国的一个骇客团体，他们其实就是 C C C。我们看到这个 C C C 指的是 Chaos Computer Club。
我们中文可以翻成。混乱电脑俱乐部，好，这个名称当然也有意思哦。不过我们知道这群其实是骇客，那么他们骇进的 iPhone 5 S， 然后去窃取指纹。那我们看下面呢，就要警告大家，因为我们现在每个人都人手一机，用的都是 smartphone， 所以看到了这句话 ：With cameras on smartphones getting better， 看到 with。W I T H， 这个当然是个介系词。不过每一次看到 with， 然后后面呢加一个受词，受词后面加补语，而且放在一个句子的开头的时候，一定要知道它的中文呢，就表示随着，表示一个状况、情况、条件之下。哎，在这种情形之下，你这边看到的受词，当然就是智慧型手机上的相机，而后面的补语就是 get in。G E T T I N G 这个分词 getting better， 注意到句构上介系词 with 加首词，首词后面加补语。下面呢就说到 N I I， 它为了要防止骇客来窃取我们的指纹，它的做法，那他说呢有一种所谓的透明的薄膜，然后放到指纹上。那这样子的话呢 ，it will provide hackers with a fake print。看到 provide。Somebody with something. 我们知道 provide 这个动词在搭配词上要注意，就是如果你是提供谁什么东西 ，provide someone with something， 但倒过来的时候变成 provide something for somebody. We're going to take a quick break. Stay tuned. We'll be right back. 
of our abdomen and keeping our guts from moving around too much. So that's its main purpose to connect those intestines, which are like、uh, the large intestines and the small intestines, da chang and xiao chang, as you say in Chinese. And the abdomen here is kind of like your belly, right? Yeah, I wanted to give another example of continuous here. That's very、Good. popular in Taiwan. We like to have continuous vacation time, and so sometimes there will be a holiday that falls on, oh, maybe a Thursday, and so you work on Saturday that week, and then you can have that long four-day weekend or three-day weekend, whatever you have. So that's a continuous weekend. If you take vacation on Monday, but work on Tuesday, but take a vacation again on Wednesday, that's not. Continuous. So、mm. continuous would mean day after day with no stop. Very good. So yes, this is a continuous organ, and again, it connects our intestines to the wall of our abdomen. And as I just said, the abdomen is basically、uh, where your digestive organs are. There in your belly, and also your guts are basically、uh, the stuff inside your body <laughs>、yeah. at that part of your body. And you don't want them sloshing around or moving around too much. So That's what the mesentery does, holds them in place, kind of like a glue, sort of. Yeah, you're talking about guts. I just watched、uh, this television show the other night, and this guy he got cut. It's long ago; it was like 1750, but he was he was cut with a sword. And they thought at first it was his leg, and the nurse was trying to tie up his leg so it wouldn't bleed out. And then the camera moved to his gut area, his stomach. You could see his intestines and his、Ooh. colon, and it was just、oh. out, and it was gross. Those、Disgusting. are your guts. Disgusting, your、yeah. guts, indeed. <laughs> so yes, you don't want those guts moving around too much.、No. And beyond that, or in addition, scientists are excited about the new field of study.、Mm-hmm. So now that they've got this new organ identified、cool. or classified, then They can start studying it. They can have case studies. They can look at patients who have problems with this and write papers and stuff like that, and try to find medications to help people who have problems with this new organ in their body. And at present, they are investigating the、mm. new organ's function to determine whether or not the mesentery has a role in abdominal diseases. So, yes, if they can look at this organ now as one continuous organ, then they can. Determine whether it has a role in diseases related to the abdomen, whether or not.、Yeah. If that is the case, they、yeah. can actually kind of focus their attention in a different direction.、Uh, it's interesting with whether you can use not, whether or not something is true or something is false. But if you use if, you can't. You can't say if or not. No, no. whether、yeah. or not. Sometimes people will just simply say to determine whether the mesentery has a role in these diseases. They won't put the not in. Mm-hmm. But we know what they're talking about.、We、Hopefully,、sure、this discovery could lead to a better understanding of such diseases.、Uh, you think about some of the diseases that people come up with. Man, there are a lot of things that go wrong with our bodies sometimes.、Mm-hmm. Although it's amazing, it works as well as it does. I have to say. So, abdominal diseases. I think of cancer immediately. Stomach cancer.、Mm-hmm. Ulcers, maybe. Ulcers. Yeah. There's、maybe. also irritable bowel syndrome, which has to do with your stomach and your colon. So there are lots of things. Hopefully, they'll put lots of scientists on this. It's a new field of study, so I bet it's pretty exciting for scientists out there. And there are lots of people out there who are suffering from abdominal diseases、yeah. right now. So maybe this will be good news for them, and hopefully, this discovery could lead to a better understanding of such diseases. Yes, not only to understand those diseases,、yeah. but to figure out a cure、Treatments, for them.、Yeah. Uh, yes, indeed, to figure out new treatments. Treatment methods, which could be surgery or medication, etc. Maybe even massage or something like yeah, that. Yeah, some of the diseases there is no cure. There's just management of that disease, treatment that will help. Change your diet, for it example. It will never go away, though. Yeah. Some kind so, of rehabilitation, perhaps. Maybe body maybe. exercises. I just like to take a little pill and not have to work too hard. That's what most <laughs> of us would like to do. No, so no, we don't have. Don't do, do that.、So、Get out there and walk. It helps. So if your doctor recommends it, <laughs> indeed. And yes, indeed, we're hoping for better outcomes for patients. Of course,、mm. an outcome is the result of something. What is the outcome? What is the result? How did it turn out? What is the consequence? Of course,、uh, everybody wants to know the outcome of the vote during an election. Who's going to?
to win,、uh-huh. and of course everybody's all mad when their candidate loses, and they're happy when their candidate wins because hey, the outcome was favorable, and we all want to have better outcomes for patients so they don't have to suffer from these abdominal problems ever again. That's true. So we've talked about a couple of interesting things in the news: identity theft by selfie, which you want to be careful. Just you know, stop flashing the peace sign for a while. <laughs> you know,、we'll、stop taking those selfies all the time. Yeah, don't you think you have en- enough <laughs> selfies, everybody? That's an- that's another good idea. Enough with the selfies. And there's also the news that、uh, scientists have found a brand new organ. They actually had seen this before, but now they're they're sure it's one continuous、uh, organ, and they've given it a name of mesentery, which kind of sounds like diarrhea. Desent- dysentery. Dysentery、uh, is、yeah. when you know the food goes through you, and it's just like liquid. So. Yeah, mesentery. Hopefully, that'll that'll lead to some good discoveries. Okay, so those are some new stories in the news that、uh, maybe you didn't know about, maybe you did, but nowadays、uh, you know about it and you can discuss it with your classmates as long as you want to. Okay, that brings us to the end of our lesson for today. Here comes our Chinese teacher once again. 好，我们继续来看第二篇新闻。第二篇新闻谈的是科学家们发现我们人呐、啊。竟然有第七十九个器官，这个器官我们以前从来不认为它是一个器官。这个是什么东西呢？这里有一个字叫 mesentery。mesentery 它的中文翻译叫做肠系膜。那下面我们就来看为什么会有这种转变哦。他提到一开始最先提出肠系膜的人是达文西。那这边用到的 first。Described by Leonardo da Vinci. 这个部分要看清楚它的结构，因为其实这是一个分词构句。你知道它的主词其实跟后半句的 the mesentery， 也就是肠系膜，是同一个主词。但是呢，你前面这里有个被动的句型，所以你把主词省略，然后呢，被动的部分只保留 described 是过去分词，所以就变成一个用过去分词引导出来的。分词构句了。好，那一开始是达文西先发现的。那肠系膜本来我们都以为它是 fragmented structures， 是分段式的结构。不过现在发现它可能是一个 one continuous organ， 是一个连续性的器官。它到底有什么功能呢 ？Connecting our intestines to the wall of our abdomen， 这是第一个。动名词片语后面还有第二个动名词片语，也就是 keeping our guts from moving around too much。那后面这一段呢，又说到了有了这个新发现，可能起什么作用？那这个后面接的其实是一个名词子句，用 whether or not， 用 whether 这个连接词把它引导出来。Whether or not the mesentery has a role in abdominal diseases。这个整个子句当做 determine 的受词，到底它可不可以在腹部疾病里面起作用 ？OK， 我们的讲解就到这边结束，下次见。Thanks for joining us, guys.、Uh, this is where our news watch.、Uh, we talked about identity theft and this new organ, mesentery.、Uh, if you're thinking about being a scientist, you might want to go towards this new field of study. We hope you enjoyed this, and we hope you'll join us again soon for English Digest. I'm Stephanie, and I'm Tom. Goodbye. Bye.